This video is brought to you by G2A.com. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It's M692 here, and in this video, I'll be continuing on hosting a Discord bot for free. Uh, today, I figured out a way how you can keep your bot online 24 7, 7 days a week, even if it's inactive. Because a lot of people have been messaging me on Discord saying that their bot is only online for an hour if it's inactive. So basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking what we've written before, we don't need to change anything, and we're going to use a third party service that pings the uh, web URL here, which will keep it online. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so to get started we're going to uh, need to make sure we've got our Discord bot on replit.it. So follow the first episode and that will show you how to set it all up. Once we've done that, or we've got our Discord bot set up, we can go to a new tab and we can type in uptimerobot.com. So basically this is uh, a, a website, a third party service, which will ping the replit here, the web server, to make sure that our bot stays online. All we need to do is sign up for an account. Just enter your first and last name, email, and password. Once you've done that, you can log in. And then you'll be rede redirected to your dashboard. To get started, all we need to do is click on Add New Monitor. In here, we click on HTTPS as the monitor type. We can give it any name we want. For example, we're going to do Python bot and then we need to go back to our replit. In episode 1 we've set up our web server here we can just copy that link we can paste that into the URL as you can see it's in there now. Now we need to select how how long it will um, wait until pinging the uh, replit again. I find 30 minutes works the best but you don't want anything uh, longer than that. You can also get yourself notif notified uh, when it's pinged, but I don't recommend that. You can click Create Monitor, and then Create Monitor, and if you haven't selected a contact, it will give you a warning. We can now click Close. Okay, so you can see now that we've had our thing running here. I've also had another bot that's been running for 6 hours and 55 minutes so far. Okay, so all we need to do now is click on Start Bot. Once our bot started, it will do our On Ready event. And as you can see, we'll now have our bot running. If we go to Discord, as you can see, our bot is running here. If you experience any problems with this, I'll do an updated video uh, trying a different method, so make sure to comment down below if it's working for you. As you can see, it's been working for one of my other bots for 16 hours. It's been working really well. I'll see you in the next video, guys.